Welcome to another Labu hardware tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your wireless Epson printer. If you want to follow along with these steps, you can check for a link in the description to support.lavu.com where you can find written versions of these exact steps. A quick note before we get started, if you are able to run an ethernet cable to connect your printer instead of using Wi-Fi, you should go with that option. A cable is going to be easier to maintain over time and offers faster speeds and more reliable connections. However, we understand that there are a lot of conveniences with wireless devices, so let's take you through the setup. In this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Epson TM-M30 wireless printer, but your wireless setup will be exactly the same for any of the printers that you see here. If you happen to be using Epson's TMT887 printer, there are specific instructions which you can also find on our YouTube channel. To start, we will need to take out the printer, the power cable, and the wireless adapter. Make sure you use the wireless adapter that came with your printer. Aftermarket adapters from Amazon will not work as they are designed for specific products. Plug the power cable into the printer with the flat part of the connector facing the floor. This will help you line up the pins that are inside the cable. Next, plug the USB adapter into the printer and turn it on. Now we'll wait for a printout just like this one. This means your printer is ready to be connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't get this printout, you can always try factory resetting your printer. Turn off your printer, then locate the reset button on the back of the device. Hold that button down, and while holding it down, turn the printer back on. You'll get a small slip telling you that it is resetting to factory defaults. Simply wait for the simple AP start printout to appear. Now we can move to a laptop or any other wireless device for the rest of this setup. Open your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Epson printer Wi-Fi network. If you are prompted for a password, you will find it on the printout we got earlier. Now open a web browser and type in the following, 192.168.192.168. This is also on the printout we got earlier. Proceed through any warning pages you get until you are prompted for a username and password. Type in Epson for the username and the printer's serial number for the password. On the left-hand side under Configuration, click on Wireless. Change the communication type to Auto. Next to SSID, type in the name of your Wi-Fi network. Be sure to include any special characters like apostrophes if they are present. Next to WPA Pre-Shared Key, enter in the password to your Wi-Fi network. Tap Send and then Reset on the next page. Your printer will restart automatically, and so long as all the information was correctly entered, your printer will be connected to your wireless network. You will know it is successful when your printer restarts and you get a printout like this. This is an automatic IP address given to your printer by your router. At this point, your printer is connected and is ready to be onboarded into the Labu control panel. Check out the video here that shows you how to set up your printer from scratch. You can skip to the sections on setting a static IP address, which we definitely recommend you do. Remember, if at any point you need assistance, please reach out to our 24-7 customer support team. Check out our channel for other tutorial videos just like this one.